Hello and welcome back to MLAB 1101, Introduction to Clinical Laboratory Science. My name is Dustin Scott Brewster, and this is going to be the first of a two-part presentation on the sixth unit of this course, Quality Assurance for the Clinical Laboratory. To find the objectives for this presentation, log on to Blackboard. On the left-hand side, select the Schedule tab, scroll down to unit number six, and on the left-hand side, you'll find a link for the objectives for this presentation. So before we jump into quality assurance, you may be asking yourself, why do we have quality assurance and why can't we just run lab tests without all the regulation and red tape? Well, an estimated 70% of medical decisions are based off of laboratory results. Because of this, it is critical that technicians and technologists produce accurate and reliable clinical data. To assure the results produced in the laboratory are an accurate reflection of the patient's health, quality assurance procedures are required by accredited clinical laboratories. Some common terminology used for quality assurance include standards, which are substances of a known value, a control is a known concentration of sample and is used to measure reproducibility, accuracy is how close a measurement is to a value measured by other measurement. Precision is reproducibility determined by control samples. A mean is the average of all the values. Median is the middle value within a range. Mode is the most frequently occurring value. Standard deviation measures the variation and distribution of values. A shift is an abrupt change from an established mean, and a trend is when control values move in the same direction for six or more days. The Joint Commission enforces the Clinical Laboratory Improvement Act of 1988, which requires that laboratories first assess the effectiveness of the lab's policies and procedures, two, identify and correct problems. Three, assure the accurate, reliable, and prompt reporting of test results. And four, assure the adequacy and competency of the clinical laboratory staff. Quality assurance is the process of assuring quality laboratory practices through systematic procedures enforced by the Joint Commission. This includes first and foremost employing qualified testing personnel. The accuracy and competency of these personnel are measured by proficiency testing and continuing education. To measure the reliability of the testing platform itself, quality control is recorded and mapped to assure reliable test results. Each of these three elements of quality assurance will be broken out into further detail in part two of two of quality assurance in the clinical laboratory.